it's, it's, it's the clear sign. <laughs> I, I had many visitors. Had and many? then I, I had, but then I stopped. It. But they're big too. Yeah, and I have them everywhere. So. Yeah. The lights, there's the solar lights. Yeah. Uh, but it's for the, the caves, no, not the caves, but it's the houses that are in the rock. If you Yeah, you can kind of see it through the mall as well, you know. but kind of the, uh, in the middle there should be the lightest rocks. But at the bottom you see a motion of some roots in the water, so it's a very cool spot. Mm -hmm.
Nice. Put them in the nesting box this time. Where is this fake? I'll leave them there. So one has been sitting here and one here. So I think they're all... I've been kind of keeping an eye on them when they go in because they make a certain sound. Uh, they go all in together, maybe for moral support or maybe everyone's trying. But only white eggs still. So I think it's only the white one at the moment. How about here? No. Ah, it's good that we use the nesting box.
So an arch door, um, two reasons because it's pretty but also to just win a little bit of height because if, if I wanted to do it with a lintel it would sit somewhere here at the highest in order to have the beams kind of meet up and the roof. The size of the roof is determined by um, having a, a good step in the door over there. It's also a nice sitting area, so the height difference should be about this. Uh, it makes it comfortable to get into the door, uh, despite being quite a low door there as well. But not as low as this. So, kind of also gives an idea how big this space is, you know. It's really just a utility space. It's just way too small for anything, a bathroom. It wouldn't be comfortable. And uh, the eventual bathroom is going to be in there, so... Because this is not connected with the inside, it doesn't make any sense to do other th than utilities and boilers and, and pipes.
problems with the gearbox or the transfer. It's hard to get it in reverse. Hot.
So the structure of this little roof required some, uh, some thought because I couldn't have beams in the middle here because I wanted to have the door as high as possible and it's, it's quite low actually, it's going to be like 150 or so eventually with the frame in there. So I couldn't have four beams in there because I wanted to have solid stones 
building up the arch so it's as strong as possible so they're gonna need to be on the sides which is which it's the sy symmetry is very important because I've talked to my architect you want to have the weight symmetrical and then in the middle so if the force is in the middle of an arch it will go sideways actually and these walls can take a lot so that's good but if you have one force only on this side mostly that's going to be forces going up here and that's not good so this one's going to be here but it's going to be just tied in the wall the force is going to be taken by this stone that's going to be coming out of the wall so that's sitting in here and also I'm going to connect these joists together so all the weight is just distributed and it's going to be even on the arch and then eventually the roof stones are going to sit on here um, and that's going to be weight in the middle of that as well and the roof stones are quite big so the touch points those are adding the force obviously and it it's usually just three places or four places where these stones well they're triangles so they're three places where they touch and where they put force down so that's going to be here and there and then somewhere there and I can distribute the weight of a stone by adding wedges underneath so that's what I will do but there will be force going here in the middle which is good
nice. See as things green up this summer. I planted some grass there and the, this septic system is full ready. The wall will be built next year. Um, yeah, it's a really nice week. The weather is just great, you know, a little bit sunny, a bit of clouds, so it's not too hot to work. Sometimes I work from 9 to 9, like I make really long days. Um, the weather is nice. Ordered some chestnut boards for the little roof. So I think I can get pretty far next week. Then after that, the stones go on and that's finished. Uh, the stove is coming next week as well. I think it should arrive actually this the end of this week, but probably next week. Um, people ask if I have a planning or what my planning is actually, but I don't really have a week to week planning. Uh, I just have a list of things to do that need to be done before winter because I want to be in the cabin but it's definitely not going to be finished um, so the first priorities are the stove chimney and the flooring and then the windows will be ready in September early September Jeff was saying and then I'm pretty much ready to move in I need to do the walls as well those are the main things and the rest I can do uh, when I moved in. I'll probably live in the first months on the, on the upper floor. Um, you know, but planning wise, because I work alone and I work seven days a week, if I include the uh, editing, uh, more I can do and I enjoy the work and I like to live in on a day-to-day -day basis focusing on the moment and the process and not so much on the goals so if I need a break or I want to go on a hike I don't have the feeling that I'm gonna be behind schedule because there is none um, and I'm pretty confident things will get ready before winter and if not it's also fine I always have a place to live um, but before the snow comes I want to put the tent away so um, yeah, that's how it works for me. If, if you're working with building companies or with other people, it's already more complicated. You need to plan things. You want to have things ready before an electrician comes or a plumber or a drywaller. It's different, but when you work alone, it doesn't really matter. So. Thank you.